Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Programming Today I Learned, 3D Math Series, Episode 29, Quaternions Part 3. We're going to be looking at multiplication and cross product today. It's a pretty long episode, and there's a good amount of math and thinking involved, so stay tuned. So, recall quaternions can be used as a complex number, so w plus xi plus yj plus ck. We can multiply using this definition, so that times itself, but with w1s, x1s, y1, z1, and then sub 2s, so two different numbers here. So multiplying this out, and this is uh, only a portion of the entire product here, I have listed it all out, but I suggest going on GitHub and looking at it if you want to see it uh, easier, or pause the video if you really want to look at all the numbers, but basically this is just simple multiplication. So we end up with this entire thing here. Uh, each of these are subportions of the overall answer. And but that ultimately leads to the standard definition for quaternion multiplication, uh, which in the longhand format looks like thus. And on the shorthand version, it is uh, down here with uh, the dot product and the cross product here. Note that it's uh, v2 cross v1. Uh, that'll be something to note for later in the episode. Give you a second there to look, and we'll move on. So it is associative, so uh, ab uh, times c is equal to a times bc, but it's not commutative, so you can't change the order of the quaternions, so ab is not the same as ba. So let's look at a couple of uh, um, products of several quaternions and then some things about them. So magnitude first of the product of two quaternions. It's going to be this, uh, again, we're going to have this nice long formula. We're going to expand it out, uh, cancel terms, factor, etc. Ultimately, we're going to end up with this definition down here. Um, and then, as you can recall, applying the definition of a magnitude, so you can see we have uh, magnitude q1, q2 is the square root of magnitude of each squared. So ultimately, we have the uh, uh, magnitude of each individually. So the, what does it mean? The magnitude of a quaternion product is equal to the product of the magnitudes. So there is the magnitude of q1 and magnitude of q2. So the product of those is the same thing as the magnitude of the quaternion products. So if we have two unit quaternions and we multiply, the result is also a unit magnitude. So it's important to know and good to remember. Just remember we are dealing with unit quaternions here. Uh, how about the inverse of products? So if we have AB, uh, the inverse of AB, that's the same as the inverse of B times the inverse of uh, A. And that works for any number of quaternions. So you could have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way up to n. And then the reverse order uh, uh, inverses multiplied out. And that's just a good simple fact to know, because we'll be using that in shortly in a moment too. So we have a standard point, xyz point p, defined by the quaternion uh, p0, xyz. And q is a rotation quaternion in the form of cosine theta 2 in sine uh, theta over 2. And n is a unit vector axis of rotation, and theta is the rotation angle. So we can rotate around that 3D point P and about, uh, rotate 3D point P about n by performing the quaternion multiplication, P prime is equal to Q, P, Q inverse. So what about multiple rotations? We can do the same thing rotating around quaternion A and then quaternion B, so we have a p a, a negative or a inverse, and then around that we have b and b inverse. Using the associative rule here, we have b a, and you'll note that this negative one uh, negative one could be put together, and then we so we have b a b a negative one. So this, what do we notice? We notice that when you rotate around multiple rotations like a and then b, it's the same thing as doing a single rotation by b a. So we can concatenate these multiple rotations, just like we do in matrices. Except the fact that the order is right to left, and not left to right. So BA as opposed to AB. 
Uh, so what we're going to do about that? Well, we're going to change our stuff uh, to do it in the reverse order. Reverse order. And if you recall the cross product that I mentioned earlier in the episode, the only thing that's going to change by uh, reversing the order is changing that cross product at the end here. And it doesn't really change any of the properties of quaternions or geometric in interpretation of them. So when we multiply with our new definition, multiplying, uh, uh, we'll put the quaternion on the right and the inverse on the left now. So, so P prime is equal to Q inverse PQ as opposed to QP Q inverse. And so this alters the formula to be everything in the right order. So when we use our association on this to do multiple, you can see we combine it out here, and then we ultimately end up with AB as opposed to BA. So that's it for this episode. It's a bit dense. If you need to pause, go back and look at it again. Uh, do what you will. Um, and then, of course, like I said, go check out the GitHub code if you want to look at the long-term formulas a little more. They are just very simple uh, multiplication and canceling math, though. Uh, if you like what you saw, go ahead and subscribe and share. Uh, you have this uh, on social media. Go to programmingtil.com and sign up for our newsletter. And have a great one. Thanks. Bye.